All right, hello and welcome to another Expert Insight interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM, joining you as usual from sunny San Diego. And today I am delighted to be joined by Linda Deer, who is in probably an even sunnier Phoenix right now, Phoenix, Arizona. How are you doing, Linda? At least a little warmer. I'm doing great, John. Nice to be with you. Yeah, and and uh, Linda is an international award-winning author, speaker, coach, and trainer. Uh, you published, you wrote, and published "Guided: A Riveting Treatment to Survival in the Face of Insurmountable Odds by Overcoming Fear." Uh, and so you, uh, you bias says you came into the world unwanted, unloved, and abused, feeling you had no value. Uh, focused, and then you focused inwards, following your guidance to make sense of the bullying, the message your dreams revealed, and the wisdom that came through your journal writings and um and so you're you you're on your journey ever since the publication of your book guided uh, you've been on a journey of uh, self-directed counseling service of spiritual awakening unexpected psychology free to everyone eight years in the making the guided journey offers parents coaches counselors teachers professors friends and families self-help strategies found nowhere else and and by the way I have to say, I love the quote from uh, Grady Harp, uh, Hall of Fame top 100 reviewer of your book says, Linda's perspective on the current direction of the world, the planet, and our dumbing down and increasing ignorance of our society, a situation she verbalizes well, well and follows that with a cautionary plea to tune into our guides to get us through this increasingly mad merry-go-round that is life. And I just thought that was such a powerful statement about what you do. And what I wanted to talk about today is you talk a lot about why and the the why and why you do what you do, why any of us do what we do. But this idea of the why, and I, I've talked to, a, I've talked to many people about it. And I think that's one of the things that I feel is fundamentally missing from people. I think that's where a lot of frustration stuff comes from is not knowing your why. But I think you have a little bit of a different take on, on why. And that's why I want to turn it over to you and you explain your concept of why. Great, John. I'm happy to do that. My why is uh, is guided driven. Okay. What I mean by that is I'm my whole life and all the opportunities and the successes I've had throughout my life have been the result of guidance. I mean, guidance from my higher self, guidance from my spirit guides, guidance from on the front cover of my book. In fact, I'll give it a I'll pull it out right here and show them what it looks like. This will explain it a little bit better. The front cover of my book, you'll see this is a photograph I took. And that's a photograph. Uh, it's a photograph of my spirit guide. I call a spirit guide angel that really is a light being. I took this photograph in 1994 at Christmas time when they showed up uh, in the in the living room. And I had an icon in hand. Uh, 1994 was film days. <laughs> And I oh. grabbed and I took the photograph. When I took this photograph, I uh, I said to everyone in the room, I said, did you guys see that? And they said, like they always do, see what? Mm -hmm. um, people are disconnected. People, they're running, their energy is just running on low, okay? Because they, they aren't, they're not, they're not awake, okay? That's really what it is. And none of these kind of people that they're just not awake, they, they're not aware, they're not they're not tuning in. They don't pay attention to what is what they need to attend to when something shows up like guidance, like intuition, like something that happens that you can't explain that is right there, making your life, intending to make your life easier. And people are in so much of a hurry or they're so distracted or they're so um, programmed by just the limit limitations of being in this world, this small mm -hmm. place, that they can't, they're not open to the possibilities of why these things happen. Why? Or did I really see that and all the doubt that follows it? Okay. So my why, my whole life, I've seen these spirit guides since I was a baby from, from the first time my mom tried to mm -hmm. kill me at 20 months old. It was a radical time when they showed up on the front cover of my book, they showed up in numbers all around me. And they reminded me of who I was in that moment. 20 months old, I had no reasoning, but yeah. I knew if I had something that I connected with at 20 months old, all of us, when we're babies, 
you don't know anything. I mean, you don't, you don't um, under, understand things and you can't reason with adults, but you know things and you don't know why you know them and you don't question why you know them like you do when you're an adult. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what happens, this why thing, people think that why thing is still something that you go out and, and, and you, and you get, you go out and you, and you, um, you want to get ahead. You want to know what your why is. So you can, you can have all this money and you can do all this stuff. I'm not saying money is not okay. Money's fine. It's how we connect with money. That's off. That's not balanced Mm -hmm. is what I want to say. And the why in my life, I'm not driven by any of that because that will deceive you. If you're chasing money, see, you can't take this stuff with you when you leave. You only take who you became before you got here. Mm. You take what you learned before you got here. You came here to learn things and do things that mattered in this world. Everyone's why is really embedded in that. If only Mm. they would stop long enough and stop panicking about this life and what are they going to do? And I got to find my why and I've got to, you know, I've got to get my life right and I got to make it. And I've got to, you know, they've got all this pressure on them and they miss the whole point in being here and I got to make all this money. So when you leave this world, what do you leave with? Yeah. You, you know, sleep hopefully, with your spirit. hopefully you don't leave with your why unanswered. That's mm. my point. And so what I do is I help people with, with that. And their why, their their real why, their soul driven why. That's a why that will pay off. That's a why that cannot miss. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so Ted, just did what I want to ask you is that because we live in this really, uh, it's just a really strange world today, where every <laughs> everything that you're saying, right, the world is set up against that right it's almost like we're distracted all the time we're you know we we've got our phones they're buzzing us all the time we do everything we can not to spend any time in our own heads we prefer watching i don't know panda tiktoks on on uh, rather than actually so we're always distracting ourselves and i feel like we're getting so far away from actually understanding ourselves if you like and allowing all of this distraction just to to and again, as you said, it, it makes us it makes us kind of uneasy and, and frustrated and, and, and exhausted, I think. Well, our minds, our minds are working against us. Mm-hmm. That's what's going on. The world, it's mind, the, the mind of each person largely is working against them because they're unconscious of why they're here. OK, in the end, when you get down to the bottom line, everybody wants to know why am I here? What's the reason for me to be here? Why should I care? You know, I mean, a lot of people, that's where a lot of people are right now. They're finally getting to the point, And that's a good thing where they're on the brink of being truly conscious. So, um, so how does somebody uh, get to that point of being truly conscious and being able then to go on sort of a similar journey uh, to find their why? And also, uh, just a follow up question as well is that do 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 spirit? You have spirit guides. Does everybody have spirit guides? Can people um, or do they only manifest to certain people? No, everyone. In fact, you wouldn't even have come here had you not brought your team of spirit guides along with you to point you in the right direction throughout your life. Okay. So there's two things going on. You need to align with this. You need to connect with that. Okay. You need to learn about what that is. This is what I teach people. I teach people to remember, see it. It's not something that's foreign to anybody. Once I start working with people in the training, in the coaching, they, And in the guided journey on the top of every page and post of my website is there's a, there's at the top, it says guided journey, start here. The guided journey took me eight years to build out along with my Mm -hmm. guides. This was a co-creation project with them. And it is designed to make you conscious and aware of your soul driven why not just some flitty little why, you know, this sounds good for now. This will work and this sounds pretty good. This will make me money. Okay. No, this goes much deeper than that. And it will make you money, but it's not by chasing the money that you'll make it. 
So, um, so tell me a little bit more. So, when you say um, you know your guides, uh, how how do you start to actually uncover and and, and listen to their wisdom? Um, because I, I do agree with you. Because if you look back on, if anybody looks back on their journey through life, uh, you know, because sometimes people will say, "Oh, you know, I regret doing that," and I would say, "Well, yeah, but but look where you went from there. So was it right. was it a mistake or was it just part of the journey?" Absolutely right, John. That is a bullseye. That's the whole point. People, pe- the way people have, uh, have, um, you know, put the concept of living their life together, what it means and, and what they need to do to make it work for them is totally wrong. It's mm-hmm. what they've been. And all the, the only reason they think like that is that's the way they were taught. That's yeah. what's wrong with it. Okay. So everyone has spirit guides and angels, guardian angels. And others. I mean, I have light beings and all kinds of of uh, visitors that be, are beyond this world. Okay, that because I'm not afraid. See, the guides are really, really careful not to scare you. Because what's the mm. point? If they scare you, if they show up and they scare you, then they really can't reach you. Then, so here's my answer to your uh, question: How do you get connected to this guidance? How do you really understand what this is? And it really, the secret to it is they point you in a direction that, that causes you to understand yourself first. So once mm-hmm. you understand yourself, the connection to your guidance is a byproduct of that. You don't go looking for your guides. You, you start to understand who you are. You're the, you're the one that's, that's breaking, that has a broken connection to this guidance, okay? And my answer to that is for people to get on the guided journey top of every page and post on my website, guided journey start here. Once people get on the guided journey and they start to, it's a self-directed counseling service that they move themselves through. It's not something that's imposed on them or preached to them. And it's, it's not, it's not a religion and it's not a a cult Mm -hmm. or it's not any of those things. It's just, it's a, it's a process that takes you through what feels right to you. You find yourself on those different um, insight, those different pages or posts that I've done. And you'll see where the guides are talking to you. It's all in italics. It's channeled information that I do. That that's that it's where the wisdom comes through the higher knowledge, the higher intelligence, these guides that the light beings that I connected to that speak to humanity on the level that they are right now. So they can begin to go, Oh, I understand. I'm getting it. I remember that about about myself. I'm catching it. And it's just one little aha after another. And as they move through this process, what it is is at the top is just three little bullets about what this insight is going to be about. Then below it is the video that I do. I do a little video that explains each one of these insights. And then below that is the actual uh, guided uh, uh, channeling that I did from the guides their words, exact words on how they explain what that topic is about. And then their, their call to action underneath three bullets, call to action, what you need to do to perform on it. And then my final words, which is uh, how it works from me at the bottom, right. how it, I sum the whole thing up so people can really digest it. Okay. This guided journey, it took me eight years to build this out with the guides. This is so intense. Yet it's really, really easy to understand. Yeah, and you know, I think that's the I think that's the fascinating thing about this the, the the area that you're talking about is that it is accessible to everybody. I mean, this is one of the things, right? It's you don't you don't need status, money, wherever. All of this is accessible. The knowledge, the wisdom, and everything that's coming to you is accessible to everybody, uh, and the spirit inside you is accessible to everybody. But I think people sometimes don't think that because, uh, you know, as you in your early life, I think people just think, well, I am what I am and I don't have that great self-esteem anyway. I don't really deserve things. And I think that's I think they think it's inaccessible to them, that the I happiness, know. the guidance, the wisdom. You, you know, I, and, and really, John, where that really comes from is it's programming. You mm-hmm. know, I mean, whether you went to your your, uh, you know, to your your clergy or what, wherever you went to, you, you, you were not supposed to talk about those things. You were not su- supposed to delve into those things. You, there was, and then Hollywood, 
that make, freaked everyone out Okay, with all this nonsense and this fear and all this kind of stuff and all these bad things that can happen, which is totally not true. I, in my life, have never had a bad experience with the spirit guides. But I'll tell you where I've had a bad experience with the with people with the people <laughs> on this planet. Okay. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That's where, I, I mean, I'm serious about that. I hear people talk about, you know, they, something happened and it scared them and they didn't, that's just their a wild imagination running away with, with them. Because I'm mm -hmm. telling you, I have never worked with anybody like that. I have never experienced anything like that. I have only experienced, experienced absolute clarity and intelligence and where they, the guides really hear what you're, what you're, dealing with what you need help with what's really important even when you can't see it they can see it mm. so is that so is, is that like you when you're maybe you're you've got a big decision to make and you're mulling over all these things and you're going back and forth and you can't make you know you can't make the decision and then suddenly the, the decision comes to you and you feel really calm about it uh and it, it in and you you don't really notice where did it cross over from all the like angst and confusion into being calm about this decision? Okay, I love that question, and here's why I love that question. Because that came up so much for people after I wrote Guided. I've got to grab this. It came up so much for people. I wrote the companion journal to Guided. This is called My Guided Journey, and it breaks right into what you just said. This is where you you learned you learn to. Uh, discern between what's coming from your ego versus mm -hmm. what's coming through you from the guidance. Right. That's what this teaches. And I teach people how to use this. So how could you, so um, part of that then, how, how can you differentiate between, you know, your, your ego and guidance? Cause uh, you know, let's face it, we've all got, we, our egos go up and down, right? Sometimes they're really small and sometimes they're huge. I have a I have a great answer to that. <laughs> and, it's, and, and and usually this is the thing that hangs people up the most. Your ego will always tell you what you want to hear. Mm. Yeah. That's your ego, point. your ego wants to protect you and wants to see that you have everything that you desire. Your mm. guides, they tell you the truth. And they don't, you don't always hear what you want to hear because the truth, the truth is the truth. Okay, here's the truth. This is what you need to know right now. This is the most important thing for you to know right now. And that's what they tell you. Now, when you get that information, you go, oh, I can't be bothered with that. I, I don't have time to be spiritual. Um, mm. uh, oh, it's inconvenient. I'd have to I'd have to just stop doing this so I could do that. And I just don't feel like it. Mm. And that's that, and, uh, that's the common denominator. That's what mostly happens. Yeah, because like I said at the outset, I mean, we live in this in this world where we're so distracted, and uh, and we and we just we fall into that now. Where we, as you said, I mean, I people tell me all the time. They say, "Oh, I'm busier than I've ever been in my life," and I say to you, "Are you though, or are you just really are you more distracted than you've ever been in your life?" And once they think about it, they go, "Yeah, it's really distraction." And I guess that's the big challenge now is to push aside all of the, it's push aside the distractions oh. and start to, as I said, focus a little bit inward, not, not like exclusively, but obviously you have to understand yourself. Yeah. You know what I do, uh, what I teach John is I teach people to sit with their guides, mm. sit with your guides. They did a meditation video on this. It's only about six minutes long and they follow it and they, and they get their journal out and they spend 15 minutes a day. In part three, the, the, the last part, where they just do the journal entries, okay? Part two is about going back into your life to find out what you flushed out in your journal writing once you start to see the patterns and go back to part two and see where this all began. Because mm -hmm. until you figure out where that little irritation, that that nonsense is coming from, that, I mean, you even know, it, whatever it is, you even know it's ridiculous. Why do you feel like that? You're an adult. Why do you feel like that? That's ridiculous. Okay. That insecurity, that fear, you know, that, that fear of asking, asking for help. Mm -hmm. I mean, the things that, that, that have controlled us from a core level has really caused a lot of, a lot of, um, uh, mental illness in the world. Mm -hmm. It really well, has. I 
Well, well, as, as I think is that we become, you know, we celebrate stress. We become addicted to stress. We don't feel like we are being productive unless we're highly stressed. Oh. Uh, and obviously, you know, you need a little bit of like stress and motivation to, to move forward and all of that. But we, I, I think that has become the, the, almost the drug of choice for a lot of people is that we're, we're addicted to, to stress and we don't know how to get out of it. Yeah. That, and you know, it's working, it's your mind is working against you when you do that. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Your mind, you're not in control of your mind. Your mind is controlling you. Yeah. And, and it's so, it, that's, that's such a fascinating, uh, that's such a fascinating concept because most people would think, well, my mind does control me, surely. But as we've known through everything from what you're talking about to neuroscience, I know actually you can, you can rewire, you can change your, your brain patterns. You can, ch- you can change your, your perspective on things. And I guess from what you're saying is, and if, if you cut out the noise, then you can actually listen to, to the advice that's coming from the people who actually want to help you. That's that 15 minutes every day. See the mm-hmm. key, you have to invest you must dedicate yourself. And here's what I tell people before you go to bed, before you go to sleep at night, get your journal out, open it up. It seems, it seems too easy. That's why people mm-hmm. don't do it. You open mm-hmm. it up and you write down what was unusual and out of the ordinary that day that caught your attention. That's consciousness that caught mm-hmm. your attention that didn't pass you by. Okay, and you might have just wrote, wrote down a few key words throughout the day because you didn't have time to sit down and write it down. But bring those key words to your 15 minutes before you go to bed with your journal and contemplate those and then start writing out what that was, what that was. You will not become conscious until you can start to see. You can start write it down, look back at what you wrote down a day later, a week later, review what you wrote. And when you do that, you're going to see what you wrote, you're going to have all kinds of uh, awarenesses. The next question on this, after you write it down, after you go back and review it, is to write down how what you wrote down, how it felt. Mm. In how it felt, that is the key. Once you really flush out the details, the consciousness resides in the details. So when you really take the time to flush out how it felt, That's the details. When you know you've done a really good job of writing out how it felt, the next thing that's going to happen is you're going to have a realization. You're going to know something you didn't know before you did this. Mm. And once you know what that is, you have that realization where you just know it. You're going to know what action to take. It will be obvious to you. Yeah, I mean, I just think that's so that's so powerful. And as I said, I mean, this is this is so accessible, right? Um, and oh, the work yeah. that you have done to make it so accessible um, to people. Uh, and I think that this is the. I think we're at an inflection point in the world. To be perfectly honest, I mean, I think uh, I, I think there's a lot of people who who want to. I, I think they want enlightenment. I think they want to. I, I think there's a lot of people who are sick of like the craziness and and as like I said, but when I read that review of your book, then just the dumbing down of the world. Like, you know, we, we deserve to use our brains much more. We deserve to be, you know, or, you know, we should be, we should be greater than what we are right now. And we should, we should not be allowing ourselves to be dumbed down. We can do better. Yes. You put it so much better, so much more succinctly and concisely than I did, but that's exactly, we can do better. You, you yep. get it here. See, we get it here and that's, that's messed everything up. Okay. You got to You got to think, but we got to get it here. This is where we're missing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is why, you know, people are having all those, you know, health problems and stuff too. It's, uh, it's and, all connected. And when, and your why, the why, the, the why question that you started with, when you, when you access this, your heart energy, the truth, truth and love are the same thing. That's where the guides always tell me. Truth and love are the same thing. The heart, it comes from the heart. It comes from here, not from here. This will mess you up. Wow, so truth and love are the same thing. That's 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 uh, what a phenomenal way to end this interview. Such a powerful statement. Uh, listen, all of Linda's information is going to be below this video, but before we go, please do tell people a little bit more about you and what you do. 
Uh, well, I'm a uh, co I'm I'm an author first of all. I've written five books, and they're all directed toward the same cause, to help you find your way in this world, in a way that matters. The reason you came here. Everything else is just, you know, you can play in this sandbox and do this for a while and this other thing. It's all fun. If you read my book guided, I've done all that stuff. It's fun. I love it. Okay. But without this, this by itself, this will, this will mess you up if you're not, if you haven't brought these two things together. Okay. I say over here is the world you came from. Before you got here, that's where your guides are. They are the ones who followed you here to see you through this life in the, in the productive way, remembering why you came here because they didn't get the amnesia. You did. Okay. Mm. And then bringing it into this world, into this world that feels so confining, makes you feel so small. Sometimes you don't know how to handle all this. Okay. Because it goes, it really goes against the, the person who first came here because this mm -hmm. world wants you to be to conform. And the person who came here is a free spirit. It knows, it knows this thinks, this knows. So once we bring these two together, you have a combination. I have chills all over me. As I say this to you, this combination can't be beat, can't be beat, but you have to do that journal writing at night, 15 minutes every night. It's your special time. You get your key, your tea, whatever your glass of wine i don't care what you get okay um and and you just sit there and it's your time with something greater than you forget about calling them guides something bigger than you mm -hmm. okay why you're here your why and you sit down and you and you investigate who this is and that's how you get to 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 why 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 you're here from this point of view yeah, that's fantastic. Well, listen, thank you so much. And for those of you out there who don't think you have 15 minutes, uh, well, uh, I would check on how long do you spend on Instagram? How long do you spend on these other things? And I guarantee you're going to find that you you spend a lot more time on those things. So 15 minutes isn't that, isn't that long time. So there's no excuse. That's basically what I'm saying, Linda. There's no excuse, is there? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. But you know, it comes, from, it, it comes from just taking the time. I will say within one month of doing this, just one month of 15 minutes a night, you're going to be hooked. You're mm. going to want to do this and you will spend more than 15 minutes a night because what you're going to learn about yourself is amazing. It's like nothing you've ever, ever experienced before. Yeah, that's fantastic. But listen, thanks again, Linda. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see you all again soon. Yeah.